Strata guy looks like. Yeah. Okay, so I decided to go live with um, Lindsay again really fast because I wanted to show you guys camera angles and and placing and things that you can use for props. There's so many different ways. And if you've ever looked at my pictures, you know that I have been doing this a long time and so I have a go-to pose, which is just the fingers like this and the other hand on top. And I snap that picture and I just go with that and crop it in. However, on Pinterest, you'll see lots of posings where it's like this and they've kind of you know angled their picture angled their light to just be the right lighting and then capture that picture and so play around with what's best for you i find that a background that has a little bit of shimmer not too much glitter is a great accent i can see the edges against the black so that i can see that the shaping you know is there and in this case you know we had a shorter now so we didn't do much with the shaping but play around with that another thing is depending how you hold your phone i can make these nails look totally different shapes can make them look squattish. I can come up. I can make them look longer. And so when you have two hands in the picture, depending where you hold your camera angle, if I hold it here, my top nails are going to look slender. These ones are going to look squatty. So sometimes you have to bring your phone angle up, find where they look the best complemented, and capture that picture there. Sometimes if you need to, bring your phone way out, capture it, and then you can crop it in. I try to, as long as I'm focused, crop in as much as I can. Like right there, I'd capture that picture. Sometimes if we come too much off to the side, you're going to catch you know, side tissue like this, which if their natural nail isn't the best tissue, you're going to be showcasing that in the side of the nail. So depending what captures that picture the best is what you want to do. Like right here, you can see where the gel polish, you know, kind of down, you know, a lot of people Photoshop. I don't Photoshop my pictures. My pictures are true pictures. So what they see is really what's on the nail. So in a case like that, if you did this picture, you'd probably be Photoshopping that, maybe Photoshopping her cuticle where it's torn there. I don't like to do that. But yet if I come up here, I can see that every nail showcases their best and I would capture that. And once again, playing around with your lighting, your angle, I know that kind of makes you dizzy if you go too much. Sometimes pictures, I like when they come in way close and they only show you a couple pictures way close, like that, even that's kind of fun and you can see the prism and that gel polish a little bit more. So play around with the different poses, maybe turn them around, get a more natural look, pose them where you need them so that the light hits it right. And capture that. Here's things to avoid. If the client holds out their nails and they hold them like this, if I capture this picture, I'm going to have her breast in the background. If I come up like this, I'm going to have what I call a crotch thought. So guys, be respectful of your client. If you're doing a pose like this, come all the way in to where all you're focusing is on their fingernails and capture that look showcase your work and your client in their best look. So there you go about camera angles.